How to record gameplay from your PS2 and PS3. In order to record gameplay from your consoles, here's all the equipment you will need. The console, of course. A computer, preferably running Windows 10 with a USB 3 port. The software OBS Studio installed on your computer. You will need a capture card, an HDMI splitter, three HDMI cables. For the PS2 specifically, you will also need an AV to HDMI converter. OBS Studio is a free program used by many streamers and content creators to record videos onto the computer. With it, you can record video and sound from your desktop, but with the right gear, you can also record from a microphone, a webcam, and your consoles. The capture card is what grabs the video and audio from your console and converts it to a file that your PC can read. Sadly, it's not as simple as connecting your console to your PC via USB or direct HDMI. In most videos I've seen, people use an Elgato capture card, so it must work well. However, it's also crazy expensive. I personally went with the Fusco Max. It was a fraction of the price, and it works great. The HDMI splitter is highly recommended. The reason for that is that for the PS3 at least, the video signal is encrypted via HDCP. Simply put, sending the signal directly to your capture card, it may not capture anything. From this conversation on Reddit, someone recommended the splitter and said it would also decrypt the signal. I bought this exact splitter and it works perfectly. I won't bother showing you my current setup, as it's quite messy, but follow these graphics. Starting from the console, you must have one HDMI cable going from the output of the PlayStation into the input of the HDMI splitter. From output 1 on the HDMI splitter, have one HDMI cable go to the HDMI input in your TV. At this point, you should be able to see the PS3 on your TV. From output 2 on the HDMI cable, have one HDMI cable go to the input on the capture card. From the USB 3 output on the capture card, go to the USB 3 connector on your computer. At this point, as you can see, the PS3 sends the signal into both your TV and your computer. The setup is almost the exact same. Simply replace the PS3 with the PS2 and use an adapter to convert the AV signal of the PS2 to an HDMI. Then connect the HDMI to the HDMI splitter and everything else should work. Mind you, I'm using a specific converter that I bought on Amazon. I can't guarantee you'll have the same result if you buy something else. Once all your cables are connected, go on your computer and install OBS Studio. Once you launch OBS, you'll have this window. In the source tab at the bottom, you can click the plus to add a source. Select Video Capture Device. In the new window, click OK. In the next window, OBS will ask you for the source, and here, you should see your capture card in the options. The name will vary depending on what capture card you are using. Once selected, if you did everything properly, you should see the PS3 menu in the monitor. In the audio mixer tab at the bottom, you can see how loud the PS3 is. If you see there's no sound, don't worry. You just need to create a new source. In the source, select your capture card again, and there you go. For the capture card, I have the Focus Max, so the issues I've had may be directly because of it. But no matter what capture cards you have, if you have these issues, I'll explain them and tell you what you can do about it. The first thing that can happen is you notice the video from your PlayStation does not take the full screen of your recording in OBS. The reason for this is because the resolution your computer is recording at is higher than the resolution of your consoles. OBS typically sets itself at 1080p, but most PS3 games peak at 720p, and PS2 games even lower. There are simple fixes for this. The first being to stretch the PlayStation video. You can do this by simply dragging your mouse into a corner of the red box till it's full screen. Mind you, if you do that, you will notice a drop in quality. That's normal because the pixels are expanding. If you would like your video full screen without enlarging it, then you need to set OBS to match the resolution of the console. You do that by going into Settings, in Video, set the resolution to the same of your console, and there you go. So you won't have a black screen, but mind you, if your console was playing at a lower resolution, you will have a lower quality video. 
And finally, one glitch you may get is if the video goes black, sometimes with weird glitchy lines in it. To me, this happens when the resolution in the PS3 changes. For example, the main menu sends a 1080p signal, but once I start a game, the signal changes to 720p and this causes the capture card to glitch. However, the fix is super easy. In OBS, just select the capture card, then click deactivate, then click activate. This will reset the card and there you go, it's solved. So this will happen every time there's a change in resolution. It's not hard to fix, just be on the lookout for when this happens, otherwise everything could be black for your entire recording. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope this helped you. Feeling nostalgic? I use this method to record games from my childhood, which I then review from a modern perspective in my classic game series, so feel free to check it out and subscribe. Thank you.